In life, we can all agree that one of the most integral aspects of our day is that of our interactions and relationships with other people. And sadly, most people that we see today are incapable of building sustainable and effective relationships, a large demographic of which are our young people. Nowadays, they use social media or they use media outlets or their devices, their phones, telephones, whatever it may be, as a medium of communication rather than talking to somebody else face to face. And according to, um, according to research by Ofcom, it says that 87% of 12 to 15 year olds in the UK are on social media. And 50% of US teenagers aged 13 to 17 say that they are online almost constantly. And this further emphasizes the fact that a larger portion of them find it difficult to build relationships, authentic relationships, which they can keep for a very long period of time. Now, these people, according to Google Dictionary, are described as being introverted. That is to say, shy, reticent people. We all know what shy means. But reticent would imply someone who finds it difficult to explain and to express their thoughts and opinions. And I'll tell you why that is important for the discussion, which I'm about to explain to you at the moment. According to Google Dictionary, a relationship is the way in which two or more people are related or connected, or the state of being connected. And according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it is the state of being related or interrelated. And I will tell you one thing, that if you're going to leave today, one thing you should take with you is that a relationship is impossible without a form of communication. No matter what that communication may be, no matter what type of relationship you're trying to pursue, you cannot build a relationship without communication. And I think there is one big reason why people who are introverted or reticent, people who are incapable or struggle to convey their thoughts through a communication, struggle to build relationships. And that is because they lack confidence. In one study of teens in the US and UK, Facebook found that more than 40% of Instagram users who reported feeling unattractive said the feeling began on the social media app. And not believing yourself, not believing in yourself because of your physical appearance can dramatically affect your self-esteem and thus your ability to effectively communicate with others. When I was younger myself, when I was much younger, I myself found it very difficult to communicate with others, but I was not introverted because that would imply that I was shy. I had confidence back then. If you wanted to come talk to me, I'd talk to you as well. However, I found it very difficult to communicate, and that was because of a mental disorder which I had called Asperger's, now known as Autism Spectrum, Spectrum Disorder. And that went on for a very long period of time in my primary school, and it made it very difficult for me to bring any form of social interaction or maintain any kind of social interaction with anyone else. And it kind of slightly followed me into secondary school, but I'm going to get to that now. Mid-2019, me and my family went to Spain, and there we saw that a lot of people there were completely open. They were completely open. They found it so easy to talk and to discuss with people. If they had an issue, someone would come to them, they would explain it to them. This is a stranger as well. But then when you come back to the United Kingdom, you have people, as soon as they've left their homes, the first thing that they want to do is the thing that, like, let's say you want to go to Sainsbury's and buy something. That's the thing which they have their mind on, and they keep the communication about them to the minimum. We even tell our children and will nurture our children to stay away from strangers because strangers bring danger to them. You understand? How, and, we, and as we grow up, we bring that to ourselves and we teach our own children as well. And Spain was completely different. And that was a completely different shift of mood that I saw there. Coming back from Spain, however, I fell into a depression which lasted one year, and it made it even more, this was during the pandemic, it made it even more difficult and increased my, inhibit, my already existing inability to communicate. But coming towards mid-2020, I underwent a spiritual revelation in Christianity. However, in that time, I also read a book by a man named Reverend Chris Oyakilome called The Power of Your Mind, where he went into detail about how the mind functions and how you can make decisions with your mind. And I learned there and then and there that you can make the decision to be confident. Similar to how I made the decision to come before all of you and to speak to all of you today. And you made the decision to come out of your house and to come and listen to me today and the rest of the speakers that we have. You can make the decision to be confident. 
I, by making the decision to be confident, learn how to exude confidence to the rest of the people in my world. And now so many students who suffered from being shy or reticent have learned confidence for themselves. And I exuded confidence in a youth conference. And in that youth conference, in the Haringey Youth Conference, I was recommended to be able to come here by Jeff Skinner to be able to come here to talk to all of you. And confidence is not, does not only exist when it's expressed in front of hundreds of people, but when confidence is the best is when it's expressed in front of those small amounts of people that you speak to on a daily basis. And this confidence you can choose to decide for all of yourselves and for all of your families right here, right now, in this very moment.